It's Cardcast with Mike and Lens, the show about everything sports cards, autographs, and memorabilia. I'm Len Plus Z, and this is the Mail Day Opening Video Edition. What's up to all the Lens friends out there? Uh, pretty exciting day today. Uh, we have a, a package of one back from PSA. This was paid express, got it back pretty quickly. And I have two of these actually. So, um, but they were two, would have liked to have had them sent back together, but they are, they're kind of like two different things. So one was an autograph authentication on a vintage card, which will be revealed in a different video. And the reason why I'm not doing them together is because I, um, uh, I believe that, you know, given the attention to, to these particular cards is definitely, is definitely warranted. So, um, I'm going to do a bunch of videos today and just kind of sandbag them, string them along and, uh, everything is all shaking here. So get this open, doing a horrible job here. Should have probably had this prepped a little bit, but that's okay. We'll get this done together. So yeah, so I have another video going on. Uh, or I'll have multiples today. So I have fresh catch stuff. I have all sorts of stuff coming down the coming down the pipe. So I have, um, I have a couple of vintage comic books that I'm going to do. That's going to be its own video. Uh, I have some wax boxes that I want to do. So let's just see. Oh, good. I didn't see the grade. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So packed, packed pretty well. So yeah, I have. I, I'm going to do typically with all the mail that I have built up. Uh, in the background, I don't know if you could see it back there, but that's building back up again. So I think, and I, and, you know, just again, having the attention on, you know, instead of opening up 15 and one and just kind of blowing through it, I kind of like to put the stories behind of, of what comes in and why, and why I do what I do. So maybe I can watch, watch it back and figure it out for myself. <laughs> so, sometimes I have no idea what I'm doing when I'm buying stuff. Just kidding. Um, Okay. So we have this card. It is a 1952 Bowman Mickey Mantle. Okay. It is in, uh, obviously got encapsulated, so that's good. I didn't see the grade. I am hoping, I was hoping for a five. I, looking at the card, uh, I think like the lower left hand corner probably you know put it into a four so i i'd be stoked if i got a five i'm happy with a four and i'm just gonna if i get a three i'm just gonna walk outside and start punching people randomly so um you know that's it'll be frustrating so you can see the back here it's got that little stain there uh i love this card because ooh, you know there's there's a little indent there that i didn't see the first time so I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a four. So we'll see. Um, maybe that took that out of the five. Ugh. All right. We'll see. Let's slow play this here. Get a get ye old business card here. Turn it around. So you can see here. Um, I, you know it's it's crease free. So off center, those two corners are definitely, you know, the bottom right is a little fuzzy. The upper left has got a little, little something going on right up there. I don't know if you can see that. So let's, uh, let's reveal the grade together here with the Mike and Lens business card here. Um, squeeze it. See Bowman Mantle. And it is a four. So I'm happy with that. Happy it's not a three. That's a nice four. Centering side to side. I mean, centering on the Bowman is like, if you're really that, you know, conscious. I, I understand that centering sells for a premium. Top to bottom is nice. Left to right, you know, 70 30. It's probably. Um, but this card, you know, I think it gets underlooked. I think this card, even though it's selling at its, at, at its the most that it's probably sold for, um, 
you know, all the way up and down the grade. I think that the, the lower grade versions, uh, you know, when I looked online, I think they're too cheap. I think if somebody wanted to play the investment and hoard a bunch of these, you know, you might be talking 30 to 50 grand or something like that. And they could literally buy up all the low end copies. There's not a ton of these out there. Um, and the fact that it's 52 and it kind of touches the iconic, you know, 52 tops, you know, rookie, and you know it's the second second year Bowman. Um, you know, I just think it's a little it's a little underlooked. I think there's room for this to actually go up in value. However, I'm not going to find out because this card, unlike the other one that I'm going to open up, this card is going to uh, be online. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna go up on eBay on auction. Um, it's gonna start it off at 9.99. And um, it's going to run for a week. It'll be up tomorrow on Sunday night. Today is the 20th, so it's going up Father's Day. So it'll end the following week uh, on the 28th, I believe, so of June. So that'll be going. I'm sure I'll probably do some some promotional stuff with that. But uh, anyways, thanks for hanging out with me uh, today. In this, Well, it's muggy here in Connecticut. So uh, thanks for hanging out, and uh, we'll definitely talk to you soon. A sincere thank you to all the listeners out there. If you like the show, please like, share, and comment below, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you will be notified when all of our new shows are uploaded. Click on the links below to join Mike and Lynn's Facebook page loaded with sports memorabilia content. Visit Mike's opening day break room to see tons of new products opened up daily that you can participate in. And lastly, visit our eBay store CardCast to look for the newest auctions of sports cards and memorabilia uploaded weekly. And we're out.